Now let's look at problem number two. And in this problem, we're going to calculate the moving average forecast. Once again, remember this is our current time. Suppose we want to calculate a two period moving average forecast. So you need two full actual values before we can start calculating forecast for the future. So the first two rows will have to be left blank. Now the average of these two numbers, so 8 plus 10 over 2, and that is the forecast for period number 3. So here for 4 is 10 plus 9 over 2, that is 9.5, then 9 plus 11 over 2 is 10, then 11 plus 10 over 2 is 10.5. So F7 then is 10 plus 13 over 2 is 11.5. So now the error is 9 minus 9 is 0. 11 minus 9.5 is 1.5, 10 minus 10 is 0, 13 minus 10.5 is 2.5. So CFE is 4. Absolute error is 1, 0, 1.5, 0, 2.5. Sum is 4. So MAD is 4 and there are 4 errors divided by 4 is 1. Now to compute MAPE, in this problem we will do only MAD and MAPE. We, we are not going to do MSE. So this is 0. And then 1.5 divided by the actual value is 11 is 0.1364. So this is 0. 2.5 divided by 13 is 0.1923. So the sum is 0.3287. MAPE is 0.3287 over 4 times 100. So that gives us 8.22%. Now let's see whether computing three period moving average will decrease the error rates. So in that case, maybe three period moving average is better than the two period moving average. Now we know that the same data when we used naive model, the MAD was 1.8 and now it is 1. And MAPE was 16.47% and now it is 8.22%. So this one is certainly better in terms of forecast error. So moving average 2 definitely has a smaller forecast error than the naive model. Now let's look at 3 period moving average and then compare that to the 2 period moving average. Three period moving average requires three full periods of data before we can compute a forecast. So first three rows need to be left out. Then forecast for period four will be the average of these three numbers. Eight plus ten plus nine over three will give you nine. 10 plus 9 plus 11 over 3 is 10. Then 9 plus 11 plus 10 over 3 is 10. Okay, so this is the current time. So F sub 7 then is the average of these three. 
so that will give you 11.3. Now if we compute the forecast errors, 11 minus 9 is 2, 10 minus 10 is 0, 13 minus 10 is 3. Now this sum will give you cumulative forecast error, which is 5. The absolute error is 2, 0, and 3, and this sum is 5, so MAD is 5 over 3 is 1.67, and for MAPE, 2 over 11 is 0.1818. Zero over ten, okay, so that's zero. Three over thirteen is point two three zero eight, and this sum is point four one two six, and therefore MAPE is point four one two six over three times one hundred to express that as a percentage and that is 13.75%. So when you compare the MAD and MAP of the three-period moving average with that of the two-period moving average, you see that the MAD has gone up, so has MAPE. So the error measures are greater for MA3, so moving average of moving average with two periods is a more accurate forecast at this point.